Hi, my name is Audi. In this video, I'm going to explain about optimization techniques and new management tools. From chapter 2 in 5th edition Managerial Economics in a Global Economy, written by Dominic Salvatore. Start with the first session, Expressing Economic Relationship. Economic relationships can be expressed in the form of equations, tables, or graphs. When the relationship is simple, a table or graph may be sufficient. However, when the relationship is complex, expressing the relationship in equational form may be necessary. For example, suppose that the relationship between the total revenue of a film or TR and the quantity of the good or service that the film sells or Q is given by TR equal to 100 Q minus 10 Q square. By substituting various hypothetical values into this equation, we generate the total revenue of the firm that shown in the table. Then, plotting the total revenue value and we get the TR curve in the graph. Total, average, and marginal cost. The relationship between total, average, marginal concept and measures is crucial in optimization analysis. Average cost or AC equal total cost divided by output. Thus, at output equal to 1, AC become $140 divided by 1, which is $140. Marginal cost, on the other hand, equals the change in total cost per unit change in output. For example, Total cost increase from $20 to $140 when the firm produce the first unit of output. Thus, the marginal cost is $120. By plotting the value of total, average, and marginal cost, we get the corresponding curves. Note that the AC curve is U-shape, MC curve is also U-shape, but reach the slowest point at a smaller level of output than the AC curve. Profit maximization. Optimization analysis can be explained by examining the process by which a firm determines the output level at which it maximizes total profit. Let's take a look at the table. This table shows total revenue, total cost, and profit of a firm for a certain quantity of goods sold. By plotting the value, we get the corresponding curve that will be analyzed using marginal analysis. As long as the slope of the TR curve or MR exit the slope of the TC curve or MC, it pays for the firm to expand output or sales. The firm would be adding more to its total revenue than to its total cost, so its total profit would be increased. The total net profit is maximized when the marginal revenue equal the marginal cost and MC curve intersect the MR curve from below, which occur at Q equal to 3 in this case. The concept of derivative is closely related to the concept of the margin examined earlier. The derivative of Y with respect to X is equal to the limit of the ratio delta y per delta x as delta x approach zero. Differentiation is the process of determining the derivative of a function. There are some rules of differentiation. Constant function rule. The derivative of a constant is zero for all values of the constant. Power function rule. The derivative of a power function where a and b are constant is defined as shown in the slide. Sum and differences rule. The derivative of the sum or difference of two functions u and v is defined as shown in the slide. Product rule. The derivative of the product of two functions u and v is defined as shown in the slide. Quotient rule. The derivative of the ratio of two function u and v is defined as shown in the slide. Chain rule. 
the derivative of a function that is a function of x is defined as shown in the slide. We can do optimization by using calculus. The first step is to find x such that first derivative of function becomes zero. Then we calculate the second derivative of that function. If the result is larger than zero, then x is a minimum point and vice versa. During the past two decades, many new management tools have revolutionized the way firm are managed. The most important of these tools are benchmarking, total quality management, re-engineering, and the learning organization. Benchmarking refers to finding out how other firm may be doing something better or cheaper so that your firm can copy and possibly improve. Total quality management refers to constantly improving the quality of products and the firm's processes so as to consistently deliver increasing value to customer. Re-engineering seeks to completely reorganize the firm. And the learning organization values continuing learning and believes that competitive advantage derives from and requires continuous learning in our information age. There are other recent management tools or ideas for optimal decision by the firm. These are broadbanding, direct business model, networking, pricing power, small world model, virtual integration, and virtual management. This is the end of my video. Thank you for watching.